you say, what's going to happen? Well, you're waiting for Christ to come. And now he's going to come. Well, he went straight up in the air without any wings. He just went right up in the air. So when he comes back, he's coming back without any wings, and he'll come in the air. And the Bible said, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, the voice of the archangel, the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Now that's Christ coming in the air. See? For who? For you. That's not when he comes back down on earth to reign. When he comes back down on earth to reign, he'll land on the Mount of Olives with an army. But before that takes place, something else takes place. What's that? He comes again for you. And so he's going to, when he comes, he's going to come and appear in the clouds just like he went in the clouds when he went up. When he went up, he went up in the clouds, and boy, one of these days, one of these nights, there's going to be a roar like thunder and lightning. You're going to hear a sound like a trumpet, and then you know what you're going to hear? You're going to hear a voice say, come up hither. And when you hear that voice, if you're saved now, you'll hear that voice. And if you're saved and hear that voice, you know what you'll hear? You'll hear your name called. Uh, suppose, uh, suppose the Lord were to come right now. Suppose he were to come right now. You know what, the, what I hear right now? I hear a big thunder out there. It go boom, 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 like that. And then all the windows in this church would bust. They'd break in. You'd see a big flash of lightning. And that lightning, saw that flash, and you heard that boom, 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 like that. I'd be up here drawing like I'm drawing right now. And about that time, I'd hear a voice like a trumpet. And that voice sound like a trumpet. It wouldn't be a trumpet, it'd be a voice. But it sound like a trumpet. And uh, if you ever listen to any Christmas records about the little chipmunks, you hear the little chipmunks singing, and, they, and when they sing, they're voices, but they sound like an instrument. And when God calls from heaven, you know what it's going to sound like? It's going to sound like a trumpet. Not hear a trumpet right now. And the trumpet would blow, and it'd go, it'd go, and when that happened, you know what would happen? All the dead Christians from the Bible times till now would come out of the graves, and the grave would empty. All those graveyards in Pensacola, all those graveyards in Mobile, and Bay Manette, and Crestview, and Florala, and Flemington, and all those places in Andalusia, Linden and Demopolis, all those, all those uh, places, the graves would open and the dead in Christ will rise first. And if I was up here drawing for you, I'd hear that thing go, da -da 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 and then I'd hear my name called. You'd say, Pete Ruckman, you're crazy. <laughs> no, that's what the book says. Christ said, I know my sheep and call them by name, and they know me and I know them. So there's somebody up there and he knows me and I know him, and I know his name and he knows my name. So when he calls, I'd hear, you know what I'd hear? I'd hear Pete Ruckman come up hither, and boy, up I would go. He said, how would you get out of this building? I'd just go right through the ceiling. Isn't that something? I bet you wouldn't try to jump through that ceiling, would you? Would you crack your head going through that ceiling? <laughs> now, you know when Jesus Christ rose from the dead, you know what he did when he rose from the dead? He went right through some locked doors. The disciples were in a room, they were all scared to death. They thought the Jews were going to get them, and they were scared to death. And while they were behind those locked doors, you know what the Bible says? It says Jesus came and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you, and walk right through that door. You know what your Bible tells you about when Christ rose from the dead? It says when Christ rose from the dead, there were two disciples coming home from work. And they stopped there, and Jesus came up behind them and said, What are you all talking about? And they said, Oh, a lot of stuff happened down in Jerusalem. And he said, Well, tell me about it. So they told him about it, and they stopped at his house and got him some supper. And they sat down at the table, and he broke bread. And when he broke bread, they said, Well, that's Jesus. And before they could say another word to him, he disappeared. Went right through the door. Door shut, place shut, right through the door. That means when Christ comes and calls you out, 
He going to call you out? You're going to go right through solid steel or solid wood and ain't going to bother you a bit because you'll have a new body. You won't bump your head. You won't get any blood on you. You're not going to break any bones when you go. When you go, you're going to have a body that can go right through solid things, just like you see in the movies. But this ain't going to be the movie. This is going to be the real thing. Now, you know what that is right there? That's uh, for that the lightning shineth out of the one part of the heaven to the other. So shall the Son of Man be in his day. He says it's like lightning striking. That's what it's like. And like thunder. So if Thor went off, that thing go boom, boom, boom like that. And a thunderclap would sound out like that. And then, boy, up you'd go. Now, are you ready? If you accept the Christ your Savior, you're ready. If you haven't accepted your Savior, you're not ready. Going to be millions and millions and millions of people left on this earth when Christ comes. Christ says, broad is the way that leads to destruction. Many that go in there out. Straight is the gate. Narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. And few there be that find it. That means when this thing takes place, nearly everybody's going to stay right here. But if you're saved, you're not staying here, you're going. And boys and girls, that New Testament is filled with promises about this thing. And these promises are, these promises are real. I'll quote you some of them. This we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain to the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them that are asleep. For the Lord himself, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, the voice of the archangel, the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we which are alive and remain shall be caught up, up, caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So as you boys and girls get older and things don't go right and things go wrong and you get down the mouth sometime and kind of upset about things and discouraged, you want to remember that if you're God's child, he's coming to get you. And you want to be ready when he comes. Here's a little old baby. This baby's in the crib and going to sleep. And Mama went to revival meeting that night and took the baby with her. And she's back there in the back row with the baby. She didn't take the baby in the nursery. She's back there with that baby in her arms. And she wanted to go forward and get saved. She said, hold the baby for me. And her husband said, oh, don't worry, but don't go down there. There's a bunch of fanatics, a bunch of evangelists. There's a smart Alex. They're trying to trick you. And she said, I need, think I need to go down there. She said, don't go down. Keep your seat. I'll buy you a new fur coat in the morning. So she didn't go down. And they went to bed that night. And boy, they lined to bed that night. And boy, along about 12 o'clock, da 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 off went that trumpet. Boy, that whole house shook from top to bottom like an earthquake hit it. And that woman woke up screaming. She woke up screaming, ran to the bedroom, and pulled back the sheep on the little bed where the baby was. No baby was there. And she pulled back the sheet and that thing, and you know what was there? Just that, all that sheet was just soaking with blood. And the baby was gone. You know what the Bible says? The Bible says, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Are oh, the kids going to go? You boys and girls, you boys and girls, three and four and five and six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, you're going to go. Now, if you're old enough and you know you're a sinner, then you'll have to accept Christ your Savior to go. But if you accepted Christ your Savior or your little old baby, you know, we don't have your little old ones right here now. The little old baby is one and two years old and three and four years old. They're going to go up. They don't have to receive Christ because they're too little. But they're going to go. And they're going to go all over this world. Now, boys and girls, we don't know when this is going to happen. I don't know how many times I've preached the second coming of Christ. I would say uh, conservatively, uh, uh, 700 times. That'd be conservative. It might be more than that. And I've preached the second coming of Christ all my life as a preacher. I've been preaching now for nearly 58 years. And I certainly preach the Christ uh, 10 times a year. Certainly. Probably, probably more than that. And people say, well, he hadn't come yet. And I said, no, he hadn't come yet. And they said, don't you feel kind of foolish talking about him coming all the time? He never does come. No, I don't feel foolish at all. You say, why, well, I know he's coming. You know what Noah said one day? He said, it's going to rain. They said, you're crazy, old man. 
It doesn't rain. Water comes up from the ground. Don't you know that? It doesn't come down out of the sky. He said, the Lord said it's coming down out of the sky. They said, well, you're not a scientific. You're not educated. You're just a hillbilly. You're just a street preacher. You're a fanatic. You know what you're talking about. And he said, he's coming. And they said, uh, no, he's not. And they said, yes, he is. The Lord cometh with 10,000 of his saints. He said it. And before he comes, there's going to be a flood. And God's going to wipe out a bunch of people. They said, oh, no, you're crazy. You're crazy. You're nutty. You're nuts. <laughs> fellow told me one time, he said, you, he said, you Christian is Ruckman. He said, are just nuts. And I said, yeah, when, when nuts, nuts are gone, you squirrels going to be up a tree and find nothing to eat. That's what's going to happen. You say, well, he, he hadn't come yet. No, he hadn't come yet, but he's coming. 120 years, Noah said, uh, the flood's coming. It's coming. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. They said, you're crazy. It's, not, it's going to rain. It's going to rain. It hadn't rained yet. No, but it's going to. Yeah, but it hadn't. What, how long have you been preaching, Noah? 100 years. You've been preaching 100 years. You used to think it's coming? Yeah, it's coming. The flood's coming. But what if it doesn't come? It's coming. How long have you been preaching, Noah? 115 years. How long have you been preaching, Noah? 150 years. What are you preaching? I'm praying that there's war coming. There's flood coming. And they said, oh, no, there isn't flood coming. And it came. Now, look at here. He's coming. He's coming. You say, when is he coming? I don't know. It might be this afternoon. It might be this morning. It might be tonight. I don't know. I don't know. But I know this. I want to be ready when he comes. And I should want him to come. You know what Paul said to the Christians one time? The Christians, he said, the Lord's got a crown of glory for every one of you Christians that love the Lord's coming. And if you love his coming, you know what you have already won, whether you know it or not? You've won you a crown. Well, isn't that something? He said, a crown of righteousness with the Lord, a righteous judge shall give me in that day, and not to me only, but also, also to all them that love his appearing. Now, are you ready? You know what Christ says? Christ says, be ye therefore so ready, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. And that's what we've been doing all this week, talking to you. We've been talking about these mountains in the Bible, and we're trying to get, to get you to accept the one as your Savior who died on Mount Calvary. And someday he cometh, and when he comes to land and earth, behold, every eye shall see him. But that's later. You see, you see this thing I'm drawing you right now? Nobody's going to know, see that except saved people. All the unsaved people are going to see is a flash of lightning, looks like an atom bomb going off, and they're going to hear a clap of thunder that will break the windows of every building in America and maybe Europe at the same time, and then that's all they'll hear. And the first thing they know, they'll look up and about, oh, maybe 20, 30 million people be gone. And where will they be going? They're going to be going, and they'll be going to meet the Lord in the air.